Okay, welcome back to Blender tutorial number four. Uh, so we left off right about here, uh, in which I was showing you that you could actually maximize the uh, size of your uh, of a particular window by hitting Shift and Space. And then I started to talk about uh, the tool and properties bars. Uh, if you hit T, you'll pull up the tools toolbars over here to the left. And uh, this, you can drag this all the, all the way over to the left as well, or hit this uh, little plus sign here to actually um, have the toolbars come up or toggle with T. Uh, and this allows you to get some uh, basic functionality uh, options available, so uh, like translate, rotate, scale, and so forth. Uh, I'll get back to those in a minute. Uh, the, the properties window uh, panel you can open up with the letter, just the keystroke N as a shortcut key. You can also, again, drag it or just click this little plus sign here and open it up. And we find lots of useful uh, bits of information. But um, actually, what I want to show you right now, because we were talking about 3D perspectives, is uh, if we go down here, uh, you can drag this to scroll up and down these bars, or you can use a scroll, um, scrolling mouse or some sort of scrolling option. Uh, what I wanted to point out here was that uh, if we click on an expand uh, display, there's this toggle quad view functionality. Now, if we click on that, <clears throat> what this does is it forces us into uh, four different perspectives, and it breaks the, the, the 3D window panel into four perspectives. I'll just move the properties out of the way so we can see. And uh, so this actually gives us three uh, simultaneous orthogonal views, one from the right perspective, the front, and the top. We also have a camera perspective. This actually shows us uh, what we're seeing, what the camera is seeing, so that we get an idea of what the render will actually look like. Now you may notice that if you try to do any orbiting in any of these panels, you can't because it's actually fixed in that perspective. And if we were to orbit, we would come out of that perspective. So, but what we can do, of course, is zoom and pan. Um, and uh, so that gives us uh, some um, uh, added benefit of being able to uh, look at our object from multiple different angles simultaneously, which will actually uh, you may find very, uh, very useful uh, moving forward. Uh, so this is something you toggle on and off. Um, and so I'll just toggle that off for right, for right now so we can get back to our um, regular 3D window perspective. Um, okay, another thing I wanted to uh, bring up or point out is that the, the windows, uh, there are currently, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four windows open right now. We have the 3D view window, and each window is indicated by a window selector button at the bottom here, I should point out. Um, and we've got a uh, properties window that's open up over here. Oh, sorry, this was a outliner. Uh, and this one is a properties. And the, the these little icons to indicate what actual uh, window type we have open. Uh, what I just want to show you is that, of course, we can drag if you pull your cursor to the, cent the line separating two windows, you can drag and, and uh, resize them as you see fit. Uh, you can also, of course, as I said, hit shift spacebar, and that'll open up for easy viewing the entire panel and get everything else out of the way. Um, and uh, in addition to resizing, we can actually merge and split uh, different windows. And I want you to, to notice these little hash marks here in the corner of, uh, of our windows. <clears throat> and uh, what this does is actually allows us to uh, split with the little crosshair that opens up. We can split a window and we can do this in um, multiple different ways. We can split horizontally or vertically. And if we want to merge back, just click that again and then we can decide which, which window to merge back into. And so I'm going to merge these back here and now we're back to uh, where we started. Okay, so that's it for tutorial four. I uh, just wanted to cover those basics of uh, uh, toggle quad view and uh, playing with the windows, resizing, and uh, splitting them so that we can get our own uh, kind of uh, customized view. Uh, all right, I'll see you in tutorial five.